Hi, this is Greg D'Souza with the Liturgical Guitar Association back again with another tune that, uh, to model and to talk about uh, how we voice the chords. To help you think about that as you learn these and then apply it to your, to your own hymns that you choose. Uh, this ancient hymn is called Thomas. Um, Marty Hogan used it in the hymn uh, Tree of Life, uh, found in Catholic Book of Worship 3, uh, number 373. I love this Lenten hymn. Let me play it for you and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Very simple, very beautiful um, melody. So let's talk it through. Simple chords, D minor, A minor, 7th, F, C, G, nothing unusual. With this one though, I do use some, um, you can play the passing tones in a tune by just playing the notes themselves or uh, by playing uh, parallel six or parallel thirds or the chord itself. It starts off in D minor and you can start with the, with the chord. <laughs> And I use this D minor because I want the A, and this is based on A minor, it becomes B minor, C minor, D minor. So you start regular D minor. It calls for A minor 7th, but we don't need to. Get those two melody notes, B, G, and then back to the D minor with the A at the top. Get these notes F sh G and then I go to an F chord and I use the D shape here you can do it this way or you can do it this way or just and then a C chord with the G third fret first string open E and then a G chord playing this D at the third fret of the second string and back to the D minor we do it again. D minor, F, G, F chord, C, E, G. Now this part I do a little parallel six to uh, do these notes in between. slow that down so I have an F and a D, third fret on the fourth string, third fret on the second string, open E and G, F and A, B flat and G, open G and E, C, D minor. So that whole thing. In this simplicity, it's, the guitar can be truly beautiful um, and we can bring out the melody. We don't always have to be relegated to playing uh, rhythm. So, get practicing.